After her unforgettable adventure in the magical garden, Lily couldn't shake the feeling of longing that tugged at her heartstrings. Determined to revisit the enchanting realm, she waited patiently for the next opportunity to explore. One bright morning, as the sun painted the sky with hues of pink and gold, Lily set out once again into the depths of the forest. Guided by her memories, she found herself standing before the familiar tree with its shimmering doorway. With a deep breath, Lily stepped through the portal and into the magical garden. But to her surprise, the garden seemed different somehow, quieter, as if holding its breath in anticipation. As she wandered deeper into the garden, Lily stumbled upon a clearing where a wise old wizard stood, his cloak billowing in the gentle breeze. His eyes twinkled with ancient knowledge, and a staff adorned with glowing crystals was gripped firmly in his hand. The wizard whose name was Merlin, introduced himself the guardian of the magical garden realm. However, there was an air of unease about him. Lily, I'm afraid I'd encountered a bit of a problem, Merlin explained with a furrowed brow. I seem to have misplaced the key to my magical cottage, and without it, we cannot access the magic needed to restore balance to the garden. Determined to help her friend, Lily eagerly offered her assistance. Merlin led her to his cottage, nestled deep within the enchanted realm, where they began their search for the lost key. After scouring every nook and cranny to no avail, Merlin sighed in frustration. It seems the key has vanished into thin air. But fear not, Lily. I have a plan to retrieve it. Merlin led Lily to a staircase at the side of the cottage and ascended to the fifth floor, a place shrouded in darkness and mystery. At the top of the stairs, they encountered a door guarded by ancient symbols and glowing runes. This is the entrance to the dark magic room, Merlin explained gravely. To retrieve the key, we must answer three riddles posed by the guardians of this chamber. With trepidation, Lily followed Merlin into the room, where shadows danced and whispers echoed off the walls. The guardians, spectral beings with eyes that glowed like embers, awaited them. The first guardian spoke in a voice like a soft breeze. I speak without a mouth and hear without ears. I have no body, but I come alive with the wind. What am I? Lily pondered the riddle for a moment before answering confidently, an echo. The guardian nodded approvingly, and the door to the next riddle creaked open. The second guardian's voice boomed like thunder. The more you take, the more you leave behind. What am I? After a moment's thought, Lily replied, footsteps. Once again, the guardian nodded, and the final door swung open, revealing the last challenge. The third guardian's voice was a whisper, barely audible in the darkness. I am not alive, but I can grow, I don't have lungs, but I need air, I don't have a mouth, but water kills me. What am I? Lily furrowed her brow, thinking hard before her eyes lit up with understanding. Fire! With the final riddle solved, the room filled with a soft glow, and the lost key materialized before them. Grasping it tightly, Lily and Merlin made their way back to the cottage entrance. As they stepped out into the sunlight, Lily handed the key to Merlin with a smile. We did it. Merlin's eyes twinkled with gratitude as he unlocked the door to his cottage. Thank you, Lily. Your bravery and quick thinking have saved the day. With the key safely in Merlin's possession, balance was restored to the magical garden once more. Lily returned home, her heart filled with pride and the knowledge that even in the face of darkness, Friendship and courage would always prevail.